Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Silburn Sidio. Let me turn this down. Tonight, I'd always say an impromptu moment, an impromptu moment whereby we have these shows and these shows whereby we don't have any longevity plans, but getting into the meat of some very empowering discussions. That's what I would say, an empowering discussion. And and tonight, ladies and gentlemen, um, for those who are coming on, for those who are going to be watching this on the replay or so. One of the things that I like to talk about a lot, and it's about the excellence of people. You know, there are many ways you can actually, as I would say, skin a cat. And one of the ways that I want to skin a cat is looking at the positive aspect. There's a good friend of mine that says, think it, plan it, do it now. And it says that if you have an idea or if you know of something that you want to do, just do it now. There's one person that actually said, think it, do it now. (laughs) A person said, think it, do it now. They they don't even want to even plan it. They just say, do it now, you know. And I was speaking to a good friend, Anthony Francis, actually. And Anthony said, hey, Silver, we've got this young gentleman here that um, uh, his daughter talks about. And we said, okay, let us actually get him on the show. Because we're always having these discussions with all these elders. And I believe it's very important for elders. Because a few years ago, my classmate in Jamaica, who is now the principal of a prominent high school, said to us, now you guys, remember this. Years ago, when our parents took us to school, they were called elders. And he said, you are all now elders. So because we're now elders, we have a responsibility. And the responsibility we have is to be a guiding force and to be able to nurture the youth. That is not just our children, but also, um, you know, children and young people. So I got this young gentleman today, which I met, um, Treve Anderson, 17-year-old athlete student, entrepreneur. And I let him speak about a hat brand called Dream On, Dream On, aspirational brand. I'm going to bring him on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have a chat with him. As to what drives him, this young man, 17 years of age, um, because we've got to change the narrative, and I'm changing the narrative as well. So I'm going to look for Mr. Trevon. Listen, did I say Anderson? Oh, yeah, Trevon Anderson, Trevor Anderson. And for those coming on the show, Magzi, Light Speaker, Jordan, good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, hello everyone, how are you doing? Hey, the man in person, the right? man in. Uh, hang on, hang on, you got, you got to bring the hat down, I can't see. You got, you, you got okay. to. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> dream, yeah. dream, dream on, dream yeah. on. <laughs> are you, okay, are you? Yeah, I'm good, Trevor. I'm good. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to to catch you out of your busy schedule. You know, yeah. if you, if you're not still, if you're not studying, you are making money, and if you're not making money, you are working with your your family, and yeah. if you're not and if you're not doing that, you're eating your dinner like oh, I caught you <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Oh. Is it? Do you, do you know that your name is Anderson? Yes, Anderson. Yeah. We could yeah. be relatives. That's my family name in Jamaica. Yeah. You know that. I looked it yeah. up when I was in. Um, I had a teacher in primary school, and her name yeah. was Miss Anderson. And yes. We looked up where it was from, and apparently it's from like Sweden or something like that. Sweden. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. okay. I googled right. it. A quick Google search said it was from like Sweden. The name originates from Sweden. So. Really. Well, yeah. well, there it goes. Well, I tell you, in Jamaica, in, in the parts of Chelani, in Jamaica, yeah. Jackson Town, there are some, Chilo- there are some Andersons. Yeah. And um, so, therefore, check it out with your family. Yeah, that's where we're from. I thought, um, I'm, from, so I'm from Jamaica and Barbados. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. No, okay, good. Really related. <laughs> good, good. Well, listen, I, I'm glad that you came on the show. I, I, I'm glad for this discussion because I, I was very fascinated by yourself being 17 and um and an entrepreneur but yeah. but t- tell people what, what what you do um Treve. so my name's Treve. uh i'm mm. currently an a-level student uh i have i'm an a-level student uh studying maths business and economics um i have a brand called dream on uh which is an aspirational brand which it signifies success yes uh, and it aims to spread the message that in order for you to come successful you need to have a dream 
Uh, and then in order for that dream to come a reality, you got to like do the necessary things for that dream to come a reality, for example. So, for example, when I was younger, I wanted to become a footballer and it aims to spread the message that... So, sorry, when you're younger, I mean, you're just 17, isn't it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> when I was younger. Like, my first, sorry, go I on. Feel, I feel, I, uh, football's still one of my big dreams, but yeah, yeah. Like, it aims to spread the message. Just for example, if you want to become a footballer, you can't just think about it and like like talk about it. You've got to actually do the necessary things. You've got to be trained all the time and just put your actions into words basically put your words into action basically um so and it, the brand kind of like signifies success and that's just what we stand for uh and yeah i'm a student uh i play football i have a scholarship at a semi-pro team uh i'm a son nephew brother yeah yeah no no that's that's very interesting because the the, the few times that i tried to communicate with you um one you were in some tutorial two you had a you had an appointment with your father to do some stuff with your dad. Yeah. Three, you're in school. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I, you know. So what I'm trying to say, you're a very progressive person, and uh, yeah. and I find that very interesting. The, the funny thing, what you said about dream on, the dream on, the big dream. I was having a discussion yesterday, and we were talking about black excellence and uh, issues with all these reparations, which are very important, but I'm not going to get in there. And my guest said to me that Martin Luther King said, I have a dream, you know, I have a dream. Yeah. And somebody said, yeah, but Martin Luther King changed his mind after that. So we, 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 we pushed back and said, hang on a second. What is wrong with having a dream? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? And, yeah. and you have a dream. What is wrong with having a dream? So therefore we can capture bits of it and have a dream. I, I, I want to ask you um, about, you know, Tell us about what, what motivates you. Because sometimes we look around and the narrative out there is, uh, you know, different for, for young, aspiring uh, black children, black boys. Uh, but what drives you? It's, quite, it's what, what, quite deep, really. What, what, what motivates me is just failure. So what, like, basically my, hmm. my, a, a big part of my life has been my, like my dad. And from what my dad has come from, uh, to where we are now, he's done really well. So my biggest fear is like failing, like just failing in, in like life and just being a mess, but like, failing uh, and messing all that up and like not living up to the family name, that kind of drives me on uh, because I never want to let anyone down. And I just want to, that, that's kind of my main, my main thing. Well, well, that's good because your name is Anderson and my family is Anderson. My cousin <laughs> took over here is Anderson, so we don't want you to let down the family name. <laughs> but, but, but it's interesting. No, yeah, because... that's, that's, that's where it kind of stems from. I, I always want to, I like to keep myself busy and I like to just always be doing stuff because then I, I feel productive and when I feel productive, I'm happy. And that's kind of the main thing in life. As long as you're happy and like you're healthy and stuff like that, mm. uh, then you're all right in my eyes. But 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 in in this world now with lots of your your peers and I guess you have a good peer structure then I mean young young friends around you yeah um, what what is that like I mean do you choose your friends do do you do you recognize that some friends are not going to motivate you particularly where you stay away from them are you uh, you're a leader of the pack. You're the one that goes in and say, I <laughs> no, go and you meet me. Yeah. I would say, I don't, I never think that there's a leader of a pack, but I think you, you know, you know, if you have a good sense of character, which I feel like I do, then you can like kind of know with, from people where to situate, like separate yourself from, and you know, the people you kind of gravitate to, gravi gravitate mm -hmm. to. And mm -hmm. Just like my, my set, I have a few group friend groups that I do different things with. And it's like, I wouldn't say there's a leader of a pack, but if you're all doing well, then it's, it's, it's good. Mm. There, there, there's something, though, is about, um, and, and I, think, I think what I'm going to ask you, know, I think you somewhat answered it already because I was going to say the, the biggest influence because there must be something that drives you. As you say, you're motivated against, against failure. Am I correct? Yeah. You're motivated against failure, so you want to be a success. So who has been one of the biggest influence in your life and what lesson that person teach you i think i may know the answer but go on <laughs> yeah the, probably the biggest influence in my life is it's, it's gonna be my dad because like seeing him all the time working and doing so well of what he's doing and like being just an overall good person like it mm. it drives me to just do better and just be better like mm. it, 
that's that's kind of my my main inspiration to try to be, be like him and and be better than him. You, you, you know, you know, Trevor. One of the things I say a lot to you know, sometimes, and I know we had a chat some time ago, and I was asking you about. Do you know who the Prime Minister is? Do you know who's Kwasi Tang? Do you know yeah. who is um, uh, James Cleverly? Do you know who is Kami Baden? Now, these are all ministers of governments, all black. And then you mentioned that, and I said, do you know Barack Obama? You say, yeah, I know Barack Obama there, you know? Yeah. And interestingly, that Barack Obama is overseas, yes? Yeah. But yet at the same time, we have these black um, leaders who are here. Yeah. Sometimes I believe that people miss out on something, and I, and I want you to come in on this, whereby they will look outside of their sphere of influence or those close proximity to find that influence in person. Yeah. But really and truly, their father. Yeah. <laughs> and the person right next to you sometimes. I will yeah. look very far, though, because like, like yourself, my father and my, cousin, my uncle from Jamaica, they are one of my powerful influence. So yeah. I want you to break down a bit more as to your, your father, your family, because there's a, you know, you know, tell us, break down a bit more about the influence of your, your father in your life. So he just, the influence of my father, I've always, I've always like, always been around him. Like every time I'm, every time, so I used to, I used to, I play like, I used to, now I don't have as much free time. I used to play the, the Xbox a lot. So I always used to be like upstairs in my room. Every time I come downstairs, he's always working. Every time, like mm. I see the, I see the work ethic. I see the, the drive. I see the, the, uh, the way he acts around people and the way that, like, he, the, he helps other people, and I, uh, it kind of inspires me to, to do more and just uh, take on that work ethic and just be successful. Like he, the way he's like, the, just mainly his work ethic. The way, the way he just solves problems and. He never complains, and unless I, I haven't done something I was supposed to do, but he never really complains. Um, and yeah, like just seeing that and seeing that every day, mm. kinda, it kind of drives you to. If you're not, if you're around that, like if you're around that, there's kind of no way for you to slack. Yes. So if you're always, if you're always around, like I see, I saw this this quote where if you're always around success. If you're in a room full of billionaires, you're there's you can't be like you can't be doing bad. So if you're yes. in a, in a if, for me, if because being in a house where everyone's working hard, my mom yes. uh, works hard, like with my dad, being being with in that environment, in that kind of like, yeah. Uh, I, I see, I, 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 see like, where, I see where you're coming from. The, the, I, I tend to use the word like the sphere of influence. Yeah, the, the persons around that close proximity. It, it is that if everybody's a billionaire, it's more than likely you're going to be a billionaire, if not a millionaire. You know what I mean? So, what can I, what can I say? You know, and, and 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 that is all essence of what I say is success because it is very clear, and I can feel you know I, I can feel your vibes and I can feel your passion, I can feel your energy, and this is so and it is so infectious, um, Trevor, whereby this is one of the things which is so needed in society now and that's why i said i want to somehow be uh, an elder that give you that that space because it, it is very interesting and, I, and i'm going to bring in near to the end when we we finish off i'm going to bring in anthony francis you might know anthony francis and how anthony francis just mentioned you to me and i said i tell you what let's just get this guy on the show and yeah. uh and even so I just put you up on my page today and a very influential guy by the name of Julian Hall from the Entrepreneurs, who's having about 130 stalls at Wembley somewhere in December. And he got, you know, this guy is a great guy. He said, he sent me a link, and I, which I sent to you and said, yes. can I get this guy to come and be one of the exhibits? Did you say you're going to do it? Yeah, 100%. It's, 100%. It's, it's, it's amazing. There you are. There you are. Just yeah. like that. And, and it shows you how quickly how we need to move. Just like how Anthony has just got this book called Think It, Can It, Do It Now. Just do it. Yeah. And, and, instant, and instantly happen. So, so what, what's, your, what, what's, what's your definition then, would you say, of success? Would you say you're a success or you're just being, su no. you're living a life of success or what? No, I'm, I'm definitely not. I, I don't think I'm successful like yet because I have dreams of being uh, a lot like, Basically, what I think success is is the main thing. It comes down is just be ha being happy. If you're 
phys- if you're healthy and like you're physically healthy, you're socially like you have a good set of people around you, and like you're mentally healthy, then I think that's one of the main things to contribute for, to success. I think for mm. you to become successful, there has to be a a sense of monetary like uh, comfortability. So I think you have to be comfortable financially, so that because it, it eradicates like. It, in a in a way, it kind of eradicates stress. So you're not always stressing of how to pay bills and pay crisis and stuff like that. And I think it just gives you a sense of comfortability. Um, but I would I wouldn't say I'm successful in any way, shape, or form yet because there's still a long way that I really want to go. I think I've done an impressive, a few impressive things in my 17 years of life as of now. Mm. But it's not anything to for me. It's not anything to rave about because I haven't. It's far from what I want to do and accomplish in life. So. So I, I guess what I guess what I'm picking up right there is that you don't you're not easily comfortable. You don't get comfortable no. that easy. No, I and, mean I, I I appreciate what I've done, but it's like I don't think I've done anything that special. Like yeah, it, it wasn't that hard. So I think I I, I don't get comfortably easy. No, mm. no, no. That, that's very interesting. Um, what you said right there because some people will classify success as not monetary, but about living a life where they're comfortable and achieving certain things. But it's clear that your essence of success, because of your age, you're saying, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what would you say then is your, your favorite quote? Somebody says, his father's a child. Like, Mistress Anderson, is that your mother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their eyes, their eyes are upon you, you know, making sure. You... <laughs> it's uh, my favourite quote. I've heard a lot of quotes that I've liked. The one that sticks out to me, not sticks out to me, the one that I can remember is because I've had it on my laptop for ages. I just haven't changed it. Um, yeah. there, there are a lot of better quotes, but one that I remember is, um, I think it's from Bill Gates, where it says, if you're born poor, it's not your fault. But if you die poor, it's 100% your fault. Mm. And I think people make a lot of excuses, not excuses, but... Uh, like there's all in this day and age, I think there's always ways and there's always possibilities for you to become successful in any way like you want to do. Uh, so I think it's just a way of going out there and getting it really. That's very brilliant. I want to pick up. I want to pick your mind on that bit there because you mentioned what Bill Gates says. Bill Gates says, if you're born poor, that's not your fault. But if you die poor, that's a part. That's your fault. Yeah. Many people will say today in society, Trevay, that based on how the I'm, I'm into politics so i always have to bring in some politics as well the the government is putting pressure on the people and everybody's finding some obstacles some yeah. blockages what, what, what do you say about blockages and obstacles how do you go around them how do you go around blockages uh what do you mean as in blockages something that you that will prevent you okay things that many people say that is the reason why they cannot excel they, they cannot do this because um, they haven't got money from there. The, the government is blocking. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you see obstacles? How would you push? I think there's always, there's always, there's, there will always be obstacles. And like, if there's like, there's, there will never be like a life where you never have obstacles. There's always going to be highs and lows and problems. And for me, I look at it as like a, I look at it as a, as a, I enjoy it because for example, mm. I can't speak on like obstacles from like the government and paying bills because I've never done that. But like yeah. obstacles that I've had is like, the uh, suppliers taking forever to take to do production, like schoolwork. Uh, I'll be honest, right now I'm really struggling with maths, A levels. It's the hardest yeah. thing in life. Uh, mm. So pushing through. I, I, I won't keep it too long. I, I want to make sure you get back to your no, studies. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, like, pushing through that is kind of like it's hard, but I enjoy the I enjoy the obstacle because I know when I, once I get over it, I'll enjoy the results day and and hopefully getting an A in in my maths. So I know yes. like it's always like life will always have obstacles no matter what you do. But I think that you always got, in order for you to become successful and in order for you to fulfill your dreams, you need to always push through them, them barriers and you need to always find a way because that, that's, by you finding a way and, and having good problem solving skills, that's how you're going to push through them obstacles yeah. and get what you want in life. Well, what I pick up from there is what you said, there's always a way. I do a lot of walking in the park, in Bexley Park, in um, um, Beckham, Beckenham Place Park in the morning. And sometimes I do all these walk and talk, these positive stuff there. Yeah. And I remember one morning, someone says that, uh, oh, but there are a lot of blockages and a lot of obstacles in the way. And then I saw, I saw a bench and I put the camera down and I said, watch this. 
And I walked towards the bench and I said, oh no, where can I go? I'm blocked. I don't know what to do. And then I just jump up on top of the chair. I go like this. I'm the king of the world. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm on top of this chair and I jump over to say that you don't stay um, by obstacles. Because as someone say, uh, let's go, let's flow. That's my boy. Mindset will pre prevail. Miss Anderson said, we seek obstacles. We seek being uncomfortable. Because, and that's really powerful. And, 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 that's why I, and I trust, and that's why I'm not going to make this, this discussion too long because I want persons to grab onto this discussion here to realize that um, we seek being uncomfortable is, is something positive there. We seek obstacles. Not that you want the obstacles, but you cannot be comfortable in where you are. Because that's yeah. the only way. When you go against pressure, that's where some. Because guess what? Any diamond, you're not going to see it at the surface. You know that, Trevor. Yeah. That that diamond is down there in some dirty, down. murky thing. Yeah. But it's once you get energy. it out there and you start yeah. to polish it, you say, "Wow, that yeah. gold yeah. is always down there, which is great and which is powerful." And and I, I mean, I, I I mean, this is a powerful thing. I could just read what people are saying. The bigger the dream, the bigger the obstacle. You got some powerful people around you, man. No yeah. wonder you are like that. That's that's really good. The, the yeah. power of people around you. So so what do you what would you say then to to young people your age, where people listen? I'm out there. I'm in the field. I'm in the politics. I'm in the I'm in the trenches, and I hear sometimes, oh, the young people. There's nothing for them. There's nothing for them. Life is so hard for them. What would you say to any young person listening and watching now? Uh, I would say just always chase your dreams and never let I'll say never let I I still classify like what would I say for myself like always what I like to say to myself is like always keep chasing your dreams and never let never really let anyone uh what's the words never come in the way of it tarnish you, like, yeah 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 tarnish it and like never let anyone tell you something that you can't tell you that you can't do something because it would that's never the case you can be whatever you want like uh, you can like if you have the you can always dream the, the the biggest that you like dream the biggest and if you do them actions and you can always become whatever you want. Mm. No, that's good. One of my favorite quotes and 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 if we can throw some quotes at each other is that many people it's good to change and the mindset is powerful. I normally like to say many people will say the sky's the limit. You know that saying yeah. the sky's the limit. I blow yeah. it out of proportion. I mash it up. I say the sky is the start. Okay. <laughs> you know, and I understand where people say the sky is the limit because I believe that when people say the sky is the limit, I say, oh, well, actually, I've I've heard the word limit, yeah. and once I've heard the word limit, that means to say that it is not limitless because there's a limit. So I yeah. say, just where people say they are ending, that's where I'm starting. And the second quote which I have, which is, don't go with the flow, or you'll be in someone else's dream, but yeah. instead create your own rivers now let's let's go to your brand because i want to make sure you sell some some tell us about um how people can get your your hats and and, I, <laughs> and I, I saw i saw some i saw some phone thing as well you got some phone thing as well i saw on your website some phone you got some phone cases oh yeah we have the we, we come do, on um, man I, 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 forget, I, I saw that man you, you almost forget come on man yeah we, we do that as a print on demand so if you want to get we never really sold one to be, if i'm honest but um yeah so basically or you can get our stuff on uh dreamonkid.com uh, yes. which is like our website which we sell all of our hats uh we are bringing out a podcast uh, okay what we're doing now where we're yes. gonna we're gonna get on um like successful people so we're gonna do it in season so we'll get uh like Young young people and young people that are doing well and chasing their dreams and just so young people, yeah, <laughs> young people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna I, I break I break dance and do all those things, you know. I mean, so I can <laughs> spin on my head still and do my rap and beatbox, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, keep going. I'm sorry to interject. Yeah. There. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna get um like we're gonna get young people on first uh, and do a season of that. Then we'll get we're, we're looking to get um basically people all. all Everyone really, because one, so we're looking at getting business leaders, uh, politicians, mm. young people, people in. I, I'm quite into football uh, and sports, so people in sport, uh, and just just anyone that's really doing well. Really, the the thing with Dream On mm. is that it the target audience is anyone who's like successful and lo loves what they're doing. So the 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 means is endless. Really, I can I can I, the the audience can go to anyone. So. Yeah. 
That's what, yeah. that's what I really, I really like about it. Uh, and that's that's coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, here's up, here, here are some of our hats that you can buy. We've got the black one. Okay, okay. Black models I'm wearing now. Uh, some of the few ones. We've got the maroon one, uh, which everyone likes. We have the navy and white. Mm -hmm. But we've also, most of our stock is in, um, so we're also into our first store in Crep Select, which is like a, I'll say it's like a high fashion, high fashion store in a yes. shopping centre. And they sell like, I'm not going to say the, the brands are sort of bad market, but they sell like high end, high end uh, fashion brands. So we're, we're, I'm happy to, to be the first, like that's my first store that I've been able to get to at the age of 17. Um, yes. So yeah. They have the majority of our, of our stock. What else are we doing? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put your website because someone is asking your website, which is uh, dreamonkid.com, ladies and gentlemen, dreamonkid.com. Yeah. Um, uh, if your mother or someone can just type it in and then mm -hmm. I just ping it, um, dreamonkidthat.com. I'm trying to see if I can get it up there, but I'm not sure if I can get it up there. Oh, yeah, let me see if I can get it up there. Dreamonkid.com. And... and where do you see yourself in, well, in, in five years from now, you'll be 22, but where do you see yourself in the, with your business in about uh, five the years? Aim is to, the aim is to get into more stores, uh, just yes. have, a, have a big impact on other people's lives, uh, really, and try, just try to spread the message to everyone. Mm. Just everyone, 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 just try to make it a global thing. Uh, we, we currently, we're currently in four countries now. We're in England, America, Morocco and South Africa, which was quite cool. Yes, uh, that was that was pretty cool to say. That that was a good achievement. That I, 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 you know, I was quite happy to say that. Um, yeah, and 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 hopefully you'll do something for Jamaica as well. And you see, your parents are Jamaican and Barbados. Yeah, Jamaican yeah, and Barbados. Yeah, and Barbados. Uh, before we go, before we go, um, I'm going to bring in Anton Francis to do a review after this. Uh, I, I just want to ask you, uh, you know. What what do you think about politics and um, and and uh, are aware of your politics in the uh, UK? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm not. Mm. I'm not the most clued up on politics, but I think politics is uh, a big thing. Uh, I think it's a. It's. I would say people in the in our in our community. It's not really like there's not a lot of people in it, and I think yes. because there's a lack of information. Uh, I think it kind of. How do I say it? it kind of holds us back because you don't, you can't impact on things that you don't know. So I think there's a there's a lack of inf there's a lack of uh, information and, and knowledge that our community holds about it. Uh, even me, I I, I know the, the most I know about politics is that Lisa, I think her name is Lisa Trust is a new. Liz Trust, Liz Trust, yeah, Liz Trust, uh, and that's about it. I've seen some of her some of her like her quotes that where she said some things about keys and just some things on TikTok, but. That's that's mm. the most I know about politics. I know there's Labour and Conservative and stuff like that, but that's that's as far as I know. Yes, yeah. No, that that's that's very interesting there because as we as we also discussed earlier, the the, the new leadership within the government is comprised of uh, a, a top level uh, black persons, with the foreign secretary being a black guy, James Cleverly, a quasi ten or person that I know personally. And Kemi Baden up the trade secretary as well. And I think, you know, it, it is so important that we actually get to know these and but but not to somewhat tarnish you or shift you away from your vision and your dream. Because sometimes we get so caught up with it and then all of a sudden your entrepreneur thing is going to the door because you're an entrepreneur, you're a person for economic wealth, economic clout, which a community needs. So yeah. therefore, I just want to encourage you with, with that as much as possible, you know, and um, and bless you. I, I want to, Anthony. How are you, sir? Can you hear me? We can yeah. hear you. We can hear you. How are you doing? <laughs> Apologies about that. I was just um, realized that my camera was facing the wrong way, so I took it off so I was not to, um, <laughs> not to embarrass myself and and Trey <laughs> showing my uh, my age there because I was. Uh, I was watching and listening, and then suddenly I realised when I joined that my camera was facing the opposite way. So, apologies for that. That shows um, a little bit of uh, uh, sort of naivety there. But anyway, it was, it's been really nice to hear um, mm. Trey's story and to see how well he's done in his um, um, short space of time, and also really 
Um, nice to hear that he's also branching out into other countries as well. So I think that in itself really goes, um, does well for his brand, for him, mm. and also for other young people who are looking at Trey as a, as a role model, because um, he may not see himself as one, but actually he, 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 he's actually a role model to those mm. who perhaps see that he's doing well and would like to actually follow in his footsteps. So, you know, big credit to Trey and big credit also to his father and his mother for being yes. the role models that, have, that has enabled him to actually um, branch out the way he has and to actually be so positive in his outlook. So, you know, well done to you, Trey, but also well done for having mm. such um, um, good role models in your, in your father and your mum behind you. Yeah. And, and, what you, and what you say there, Anthony, is, is really powerful because you know we spoke a lot about it, is that the, our sphere of influence and our mentors sometimes are so really close to us. Unfortunately, yeah, um, some persons do not have it. And that's why once one year I did that something for Father's Day where I said, we should also be godfathers. Yeah. We need to say that, um, look out for other young people and give them the opportunity, like what we are doing now, because we are like, um, well, Anthony's Ant Anthony's elder. I'm, I'm like you, um, Trey. We are young <laughs> together. <laughs> you know. So, so, uh, so, Trey. I'm gonna let you go. Any last word you want to say, sir? And I'm gonna say, Anthony. Uh, I'm uh, kind of thank you very much for having me. Uh, I really mm -hmm. appreciate the opportunity to to come on this and and broadcast what, who I am and my brand and giving me the platform really so i, I thank you personally for that uh mm. and yeah and and good and, and i'm sure we will we will talk some more and um for the your, your path as well and check out julian hall make sure you go for ultra entrepreneur julian yeah. hall and i'm um, a good mate um for that event there which is going to be awesome and i'm sure we'll link you with other persons as well and try to get some sale and and uh, we can. I won't get. I, I don't want any cut in it. You know. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna ask for any cutters yet from the from the big <laughs> business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Anthony. The last word for Trey. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm really pleased that um, mm. Trey um, has done so well. I'm pleased that um, you know my conversation with his uh, his teacher Naomi, who just happens to be my daughter, has led um, <laughs> to this interview. And, you know, I think it's really uh, important that we give a platform like this to um, young entrepreneurs, to young individuals mm. like Trey, so that future other young um, students and young black boys in particular and girls, women, should I say, um, can actually um, see Trey as an example of what can be done positively and actually can try and find their own way and inspiration from what he's done. Because, as he said, he's taken a brand. He's been doing it for a few years now. He's now got it in other countries. Um, he's, you know, he's been open about his challenges. You know, he's doing his A-level maths. You know, he's a young man who's just started his journey and he's done exceptionally well. So I think yeah. we should give him a lot of credit and kudos and wish yeah. him well for the future. So congratulations. Yeah. And um, I'm still mm. waiting for that, you know, for my hat, Trey. I think Naomi has asked you uh, <laughs> that I would like to get one. Not, not a freebie, by the way. I'm happy to pay. Yeah. Yes, that. yes. I'm looking forward to that. I didn't. I didn't actually know that Miss Francis was your daughter. I wanted. She's the best teacher I've ever had. So thanks, thanks to her. Awesome, 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 Naomi. Well, that's great, and I look forward to one of the hats as well. We'll try to let me know. We can order one as well for my walk and talk motivational. I can just wear it when I'm in the park that's as great, well. Bro. You know, Trey. Trey, listen. Thank you so much, and uh, thanks, my sir. regards also to your mother and your father for the great thanks, work that they're doing. And of course, I, I, I can believe that the influence that they have with other families and other young people around them is also doing great wonders as well so kudos and that is something which is so needed within the community because as i said we just want to change the narrative break the narrative down and just say hey here we have got success and treve is only just one of many thank you, thank you very much for coming all right cheers sir thank okay bye-bye thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you um let me see you anthony you're there, yeah? Yeah, I'm here. Um, and apologies, yeah. Gone. So um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and spin my camera around. I That's don't know right. what happened there, but um, I'm gonna stay on this for the time being because I can't yes. get it sorted. <laughs> yes, yes. But yes, um, it was. It's nice to have that sort of positive role model um, mm. that we can hear from, and also, you know, it's it's nice to hear someone refreshingly sort of just given an open 
opinion about you know the struggles they're having in what what they've achieved so far and what they yes. what they would like to do going forward and who's been their influence um because we just don't hear enough of that sadly these days mm. and i think it's very important to have as you mentioned to change the narrative from what we've um previously heard about young young black boys in particular and to hear and to hear the positive um that people like Trey are doing so it's it's re- it's really refreshing and i'm really pleased that you were able to to make this happen so really you know big thank you for that yeah. <clears throat> yeah and 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 also if we can just break down even with your book there that talks about think it can it do it now how things can just click into second gear very quickly um uh, someone just said important to our fathers in the home so important so crucial so important that that is correct um um keeper sutherland not, not keeper sutherland said, i am nikki sutherland sorry my apologies on when, when we when we discussed Treve, um it was just by uh, a, a, a whim. If you if you can just break that down there, um, Anthony as well, just to show how things can move so very quick. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, you know, as as mentioned in the interview, there, I mean, it was m- my my daughter Naomi who happens to be Trey's or was Trey's um, teacher, <clears throat> and um, you know, she, you know, me and Naomi are always talking about different business activities. Naomi, as you know, is not only head of economics um, and business at her school, but she's also a very creative person in her own right in terms of yeah. um, activities that she does. And we were talking about different bits and pieces. And um, it was actually around my, my birthday period where we were talking about things that, you know, some results she'd had from some very good students. And she mentioned Trey to me. Mm. And I thought to myself, well, you know, what? actually, you know, I've got uh, contacts with, with Selborne around trying to give you know people platforms he, he gave me a platform when i was starting my business mm. and it's nice to have um a, a sort of young person's opportunity uh, for them to come on and sort of really explain what they've done how they've how they've managed to get started and their story and i think it just showed as you mentioned my book is think it planet do it now how quickly yeah. things can happen because you know yeah. we thought about it for a bit, you've planned it and now we're doing it yeah and and we would have done it last week, but um, you know, in respect to the Queen and, and so like that. But we're moving full speed ahead. And some of the, the interesting thing he talks about what motivates him and and you know the the influence in his lives. I mean, there's one question which I wanted to ask, but it answered all of it already right there regarding mm-hmm. his family network, his father, and that support base which is there, which is so important. The support base that our young people have. You know, sometimes they feel out of it, but that positive role model and that support base is so important, Anthony. I don't think we can say anything further, really, um, tonight on this, you know? Well, I think, yes, Yes. and I think that's something that, sadly, we don't perhaps promote enough Mm. um, and talk about enough, that the importance of um, role models actually in your own home. I mean, you know, he mentioned Mm. his father several times and his father's work ethic and how he was motivated by failure but also motivated by the fact that he always saw his father busy um industrious and doing you know and actually being yeah. being positive and i think it just shows the importance of that as a role model he didn't he he's not around uh, somebody who's moaning complaining yes. and sort of saying what i can't do his father is showing him what he can do uh, yeah. and i think that's really why it's so important to have positive role models around you right from you know, inside your own um, sphere of influence, which and it can't be any closer than your parents, and that really is the the, the you know the ground rock from which he's taken his ideas and he's now moving forward. So you know, it shows how how important positive role models around you not not just your parents should I say, but also your yes. immediate peers, the yes, friends yes. that you keep. Um, you know, that the, they also pay play a very important influence on you because you know m- m- my my motto is. If you're not telling them the right things, then someone's telling them the wrong things. So that's why it's important to really make sure that you constantly are play, um, you know, playing a, a big part in their lives. And, and that is so important, what you said right there, that um, who is going to be playing that role in their life, who is going to be dealing with them, who is going to be leading them, because if there's no leadership, there's going to be some leader somewhere who is going to take the mindset of the youths already. So... And I think one of the important thing is that, and if parents are listening, any parent, no matter who they are, if they are serious about raising their children to a high level and a powerful level, they can do it because I believe God has given parents, okay, 
you know, I, I'm a lawyer that deals with social service and um, legal services and stuff like that. And sometimes we have cases whereby some parents need that extra help. Sometimes there's cognitive issues and they can't. But deep down still, there is always something that a parent has that can give to their children. And if they don't have it, there's that network, that support network. And as elders, we are, that's our job to actually fester it and to actually make it happen for persons like Treve and that network uh, as much as possible, Anthony, yeah. Well, yes, you're right. And I mean, you know, that network, which I think was mentioned um, in the interview, I think one or two people touched on the importance of network. That network is very vital, especially if you have a network of positive people around mm. you. Because, you know, if your network consists of naysayers, and people who say things like you can't, you can't, as opposed to yes, you can, then they are going to steal your dreams from you. I mean, his, his whole um, um, aspiration and his whole brand is around dreams. Yes. And, you know, if you have somebody who tells you you can't, they simply stole your dream from you because how do they know that you can't? Why is it up to them to actually steal your dream and your opportunities? Why can't you? Oh. And I think that's why it's very important to surround yourself with positive um, people with positive attitudes because they're the people that can make you successful. As he said, if you surround yourselves with billionaires, you can't help but become a billionaire. Yes, yes. Dream on. Uh, and I'm just looking at it now, you know, the hat brand called Dream On. So naturally, anybody that wears that hat is a dreamer, you know, uh, and not just a dreamer where you, you, you just dream, but this is someone who will actually aspire them to actually spread their wings, aspirational brand, aspire, inspire to aspire, aim to spread that message in order for you to be successful. You must have a dream. And in order for you to fulfill that dream, you must do all the necessary actions in order to fulfill that dream. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the, the show tonight. And that is uh, with the impromptu moment with dreamonkid.com that's the website you can see the website there dreamonkid.com dot com with trevor anderson young entrepreneur and remember to like and share this show i'm going to put it on youtube as well i'm going to take it and put it and lift it up and put it on youtube as well Anthony, listen thank you so much for this yeah my pleasure um Selborne. thank you for mm -hmm. making it happen for trey um you know i i think it's in, it's a great platform for him i wish him well in the future and mm -hmm. i really that his brand goes on to be the inspirational brand uh, that he wants it to be. Just the same way that Nike started uh, with very small steps, but you know, look where that brand now has taken itself. And, it, and, and we all recognize that, that tick. You know, there's yes. no reason why in the future we can't recognize Trey's brand also. So, you know, congratulations, congratulations to mm -hmm. him and thank you for um, making it happen. Thank you very much. Anthony, have a good night and um, we'll talk. All the best. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye Cheers. now. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining tonight. And uh, we look forward to another time with, um, you know, more different uh, speakers as well. I'm going to hopefully that even with this quick discussion that um, we may open this web of very positive um, young people. So have a good night and thank you Trevor Anderson, Trevor Anderson for spending that time with us this evening and um, hope we didn't keep it too long so you can get on with your maths as well. All right. Peace out. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Silver Insidia. Over and out. Bye-bye.